But anyway. Jade, please stop saying so many negative things about yourself. It does not help. Believe me, I know. And I as a player know that more than anything, because I've actually had horrible self-esteem for 90% of my life. Um, but when I play these games, like, I'm so used to becoming someone different that I just don't think about how much I do not believe in myself in real life. Because I, I, I admit, I do not have great self-esteem at all, and I never have. But in these games, I don't really think about that kind of stuff, which is probably one of the main reasons why games are my crack. <laughs> because it's just, you know, I, I just feel like I'm doing something awesome when I'm slaying dragons and helping people out in games like this, and, you know, I, I don't really do anything as great, near as great in real life. Oh, um, I should probably go out the back gate, because, well, we're going towards the dragon, which, um, <laughs> I know it's really stupid to bring Jade... Actually, do we have any light armor uh, just kind of laying around our pack? Because, you know, she's wearing a robe. <laughs> um, I almost wanted to click the... Oh no, uh, something dangerous? No, just the occasional dragon trip thing. But I thankfully didn't even need to answer that question. <laughs> because it uh, exited the... I'm already hungry as hell again. Come on, Jakaria fat cat. <laughs> um, Alright, um... Already hungry again, so let's eat. Oh, by the way, it's already 1 p.m. We need to get the frick moving here. <laughs> I have been wasting lots of time. I, I just tend to do that in games. I tend to just explore a lot, and especially I realize when I'm LPing, I tend to just stand here and talk a lot, a lot of times. Just sort of like stay on one screen and talk my ass off. I need to get out, out of a habit of doing that and more into a habit of moving the damn thing along. <laughs> Um, and I was better at that before, but I haven't um, at the recorded in over a month. <laughs> so yeah, um, I try to remember where the heck the back gate to this darn city is. Um, somewhere around this direction, I think. There we go. I believe this is the back gate. Unless it's the front gate and I just went in a fragging circle. Which I wouldn't be surprised at, to be honest. Hopefully this is the back gate. If not, we'll circle around the city because I don't want to. Yeah, this is the wow. I just wow. I can take locks, <laughs> but I won't do crime. If that makes sense. It does make sense, Jade. Do not worry. I can pick locks too, but I don't do crime anymore either. Yeah, I, I think another reason I should have mentioned this before that Jakar wants to take her along is just like him, she was a thief, and she turned. You know, she tried to better her life. Um, by becoming a priest tomorrow, and that is very honorable to him. And that is one of the reasons he believes she can do a lot more good than she thinks she can. So, yeah. By the way, let me just check and see if my stuff's recording and all that. It seems to be awesome. Right. So, um, laggity laggity. Okay. Um, what's going on here? Uh, oh, lag is going on. Right, so... Stupid spiders. Let's see if I can get this one. They're focusing on that one, so... Jade, uh, I'd uh, like to commend you on your combat skill. You are much more skilled than you believe you are, you know? I can tell just by looking at you fight. Right, again, I am a save whore, so, you know. That w you will be seeing this screen a lot. Right, so. Um, we are now around the other side of the city, and I'm trying to find the road that goes towards the general direction of that dragon, and I can't seem to find it. Um, and yeah, by the way, this gate is actually barred, so... Is it one of those instances where this map actually has, like, the road in a wrong place? That may be a thing. Um, I apologize for this episode being let's bumble around and, you know, in the general area of Riften like an idiot, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, I believe, actually, this is the correct road. Um, Alright, so there we go. 
we are on the right track finally in the late afternoon, I think. Mid-afternoon. But still, I would like to have left in the morning, but I'm too slow to do that. <laughs> uh, to have done that. Um, anyway. By the way, I just realized that I only have one tent that has two bedrolls. Um, or do I have another tent? Actually, I think I have a fur and a leather. I hope I have a fur and a leather because... I would like Jade to be able to sleep if we, uh, stopped. Um, let's see, large fur tent, okay. Actually, I think all I have is a fur. That may be an issue. Crap. Um, <laughs> oh man. Uh, actually, let's, let's make sure that Anim Law doesn't have another tent. I hope she does. Um, 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 trade some things. How can I help? Miscellaneous, nope, she don't got no tent. I should have, I probably have enough, well actually I don't know if I have enough corn to buy another tent, because they're pretty expensive. I don't know, I, I hope we don't have to stop out in the middle of the wilderness where there's nowhere to sleep, but we probably will. Oh well, we'll just role play that there is a third bed rule even though there isn't. Oh well. We'll just say that's a thing. Again, he's peckish and slightly thirsty again, but we'll just ignore that for now, because we don't want to dwindle our food and drink supplies already. Especially since we're not even really halfway there to Autumn Watchtower. By the way, I seem to have two quests marked, which is confusing me slightly, so let's uh, fix that, A. Eh? Um, 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 the quests. <laughs> right, uh... There we go. Nope, not bird's eye tap. Um, I deactivated it and it disappeared. I hope it didn't disappear permanently. Although, to be honest, I don't know if I'll ever do that anyway, because one, we won't be going back to uh, Solitude for a while, and two, I don't know if that really is concerning him that much. Jakar cannot help it but um, rely on his cat in instincts and catch a few of these many, many butterflies here. Right, to so, Sue. Man, this game, man, can be very, very pretty. The Rift is actually one of my favorite holds in how it looks, but one of my least favorites in the city, and that's probably how a lot of people feel about this game. The city is just so gloomy and full of, you know, lots of strife and not a lot of good things happening at all. Fragon Wolves. Um, Blade of Yelmarch. Hi! <laughs> And I apologize for the slight lag that seems to be happening, but I think you're all used to it by now, because it's kind of been happening for the entire LP so far. Um, I've just, you know, frame rate has never been much of an issue for me, because before, um, you know, before last summer, I had lived, you know, I had played PC games on a hand-me-down gaming computer uh, of my dad's that was severely outdated, um, that I would never be able to dream of playing Skyrim on, on novice probably without buttloads of lag. I mean, even Oblivion on medium graphic settings lagged the hell out of that thing, to give you an example. Um, it was a resilient machine that could run games like Overlord 2, etc. without too much lag, but it's still, you know, this thing is just, you know... <laughs> much, much, much better in every way, and it wouldn't be able to play half the games I've been playing lately. My old computer, I mean. This one has, and it is obviously capable of that, but... Anyway. I don't know why I randomly slaughtered a deer when there's a bear, except for the fact that I'm a spaz, and I haven't recorded in a while, so I'm a bit more of a spaz, <laughs> because commentary and gaming at the same time is not exactly something I'm used to right now. I don't know why I'm just eating food randomly in the middle of a fight. I am not there, holy crap. <laughs> yeah, um, this is what happens when I don't record for a while. I become as spacey as I was when I first started. So, um, both because I enjoy it and because it just helps the quality of the videos I need to uh, keep going on like I did the first couple of months I, s I was uh, LPing this game. <laughs> 
Speaking of Let's Plays, um, I know I've said this several times before, and you know talked about this a few times on my channel, but uh, I've been debating other games I want to Let's Play, and I've decided, and I think I've said this once before, but I'm going to say it again because it's actually happening this time, I've decided that the second LPA will start is Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, which is a um, good but very buggy <laughs> um, RPG by Troika Games, which is, you know, as the title would suggest, based off of being a vampire, and it's unique and fun and when I think of summer a fun little RPG. I think of passion. In autumn, I think of friendship. Winter, I think of pity. But only spring has tomorrow's love. Hmm. That was actually surprisingly poetic for someone so, uh... <laughs> so pessimistic. Maybe this little trip and realizing that she's a lot more confident than she thinks she is, uh, hopefully by Jakar's encouragement, is uh, helping her see things in, a, in more of a light, and uh, maybe that resulted in that uh, poetic, optimistic little um, thought there. So that that's a good sign to Jakar, her little um, optimistic comment there. Right, so let me see here. Um, again, we're going for Autumn Watch Tower. Right, and we're still going to be going to there, and it'll probably be like at least early evening by the time. Okay, come on. Ugh, my shift key is stuck. Right, I need to clean my keyboard. <laughs> anyway, um, right, Autumn Watch Tower. Yeah, we are uh, still not very close to it, <laughs> so we're. Going through the wilderness. At this point, Jade's like, um, where exactly are we going? We've strayed from the path. <laughs> uh, like, don't worry, you'll be fine. <laughs> uh, he may be lying there, and he, ho he hopes he isn't. I just, um, I just realized that I wondered if we had light armor, and then kind of forgot to s check that and equip some on her. So we will make sure, hope to God, that we have light armor, um, actually. And take another health potion, because wolves are chewing our ass, <laughs> which is not a good thing. Partly, probably because of the lag. I, I, I do realize that, um, I do believe the lag is mostly due to um, Open Broadcaster running as well as this game, because I was playing another character last night, uh, which was part of my inspiration to actually get off my butt and record this some more. I will not get off my butt literally, because I'm on my butt doing this right now, but uh, figuratively, anyway, you know what I mean. Um, but uh, yeah, I was playing another character last night, not recording, and, you know, same mods um, and everything, but um, lag was significantly less, so I think Open Broadcaster puts a lot more of a strain on my computer than I originally thought. Because, you know, I hadn't played this game without recording for a while, and now that I uh, now that I did last night, I realized that, you know, it puts a bit of a strain on my system more than I thought it would. I know it should, because it's a recording program, but, um, and those are intensive by nature, but still, take a swig of his water skin, and, uh, should he take another? No, he's going to conserve food and drink, because, well, still not really all that close to the place. Getting closer, but still not all that close. But I may die here, because that's a burr, and the burr is going to kick my ass. Holy crap, holy crap. When was the last time I saved? I hope it was not too long ago. Uh, let's drink a health potion and apply the most potent poison we've got to the Blade of Yelmarch. Uh, and die. Uh, bears in this game, man are pretty much my mortal enemy. They're certainly Sorcerer Dave's mortal enemy. If you've seen his... If you've seen... You know... <laughs> I think it was chapter... 3 of his LP? <coughs> Maybe 2? Oh, great. Yeah, we're quite a bit farther back. Quick save the hell out of every few seconds, Tucker, because... Wait. I actually... Oh, I think this is the same bear in the same place. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, I think so. I thought I was farther along when I started fighting this bear. But yeah, I think I did quick save before I encountered this bear, which is good. Okay. What I'm gonna try is staying back with my bow instead of going in with my sword like a dumbass. We'll let Anim Law be the brave one there, and hopefully Jade won't think it a good idea to go in charging into a bear with her dagger and no armor. But knowing 
companion AI in this game. Not counting on it, sadly. But anyway, after we fight this damn bear, I am going to check if we have any light armor and give it to an or give it to Jade. Because yeah. Yep, she does feel like going in there with her dagger blazing. Oh well. Companion AI. What will you do? Alright, so let's loot this bear. There's for some reason a silver ring on the bear. Doesn't make sense, but okay. Um, okay, so do I have you know, even just a chest piece or something? Uh, that's not what I'm wearing. Well, we have the studded armor of major health, which may be just what um, Jade needs right now. But we will see. And we've got these merchant's boots. Actually, they, they don't have armor. Forget what I just said. Um, and Law, do you have any better armor? I think that's what we're going to equip her with, though, that, that studded armor of major health. I probably was going to sell that, but I'm glad I didn't because Jade needs armor, and uh, the extra health will definitely help. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? I am uh, trading some stuff with you. If you have any armor laying around in your inventory, and you don't, so I shall give Jade that studded armor of major health. Well, there aren't very many shadows around here, but I like your thinking. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? I need to. Sure, whatever you need. Right, so, let's give her our studded armor of major health. There you go. And will she... she is not equipping it. Um, need to trade... Sure, whatever you need. She's not equipping her armor. Um, whoa, uh, is there a script that keeps her from equipping armor because of a character reason or something. Because a lot of interesting NPCs have those kind of scripts that are, like, um, character specific. Well, balls. Um, that's an issue. Because this will probably help her a lot more than that damn robe. Let's just say no. I'm not wearing... She says, no, I'm not wearing that. I don't care if it'll help me. I'm kind of vain. I don't know. But, well, if she wants to just Stay in her robe, that's fine by me. That's probably a script on the part of the 3D NPC's mod author that, uh, you know, just says, hey, she's not going to wear armor, so just don't try, I guess. Um, it might be a bug, too. Anyway, uh, well, that's a thing, and I, I think I, we're just going to leave her back at Riften after this little adventure, but Jakar wants to bring her on it just to prove that she is not as incompetent as she thinks, and hopefully... This will do that. I hear combat going on here. What? The, ooh. Someone is being attacked by wolves. Let's help Warsaw. All right, sir. Oh. Um, no, he's not, because there's a bear over there. Or not. Is that a bear? No, that's a troll. That is a dragon troll. A troll with buttloads of health. Oh, shit, did I just shoot Jade? Oh, my God. I shot Jade. I shot Jade like an idiot. Um, I shot Jade, didn't I? I, I freaking shot Jade. Uh, is there a bolt in her anywhere? I, I hope there isn't, but I'm pretty sure I shot Jade because I'm stupid. You all right, Jade? You seem... You seem injured. You all right? All right. It doesn't look like there's a bolt in her, so let's just go with the fact that Jakar didn't shoot her, because I like to think of Jakar as a better shot than I am. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, yeah. You okay, Jade? Can you walk? Are you good? The... Jakar feels like he really needs to learn a healing hand spell of some kind. Um, and I and I want to eventually do that with him. The problem is, the best way to get magic training is obviously the uh, college in Winterhold, and I don't really plan on doing that with him. Um, I, I, all he's going to try and learn is restoration, to be honest. And also, he's not really very magically adept and never will be. That's not part of his character. Um, so once he starts learning more powerful spells, he won't really be able to cast them all that well, because I'm not really going to be ever giving him magicka, to be honest. 
because he's just he's you know he he knows a few tricks. But basically, what I'm try what I'm thinking of doing is giving him healing hands or something, and then just stopping there. Um, but just make sure he doesn't already have it, because again, I haven't played in a while. I do not remember what kind of stuff he had, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Oh yeah, I forgot I had a level up. Uh, restoration. No, he just has healing. He's thought thought so. But anyway, let's level up. Let us level up indeed, and give him health, stamina, health, stamina. Stamina is always good. And I will give him stamina out the wazoo until it doesn't get drained like a mofo, which it still is getting drained like a mofo every fight, so, yeah, um... Alright, what shall I spend this perk in? And uh, again, since I haven't played in over a month, I will have to look at these trees for a while. Welcome to Let's Try to Remember What the Hell We Were Doing with Tucker Jones, and that is my real name, by the way. Yep, now you learn something. Um, holy crap. Power draw, nope, not really a longbow, dude. Ballistics, again, he's not a smith. Ooh, steady hand, steady hand. Would probably be pretty darn good because I am horrible at aiming. Ranger's trick, bash attacks with short bows. Again, I don't think he'd really get that close most of the time. Because the point of a bow is being at distance. Um, he could also get focus 3 of 5. In the light armor tree, he could get agile defender 2 of 5, which just increases light armor rating. He could get weak spot. I deal 10% more damage with all weapons against enemies that only wear light armor. Interesting. Um, in the sneak tree, I could get... Intruder, which is not really something I, you know, he's, he doesn't plan on intruding all that much. Blind, blind side, unarmed sneak attacks with one-handed weapons. Not his thing, again. Um, any sneak attacking he'll be doing is with a bow. So what I want is... Sharpshooter, which requires 60, and it also requires me to get muffled movement, which I can't even get, so... Yeah, the only thing I can see him doing is obviously getting stealth to a f uh, 3 of 5, you know, probably up to 5 of 5 eventually. Uh, muffled movements and sharpshooter, that's all he's really uh, looking at right now for sneak. Wayfarer is not really all that useful of a skill tree in my experience. Um, just, these don't seem all that useful all that much. I mean, they're more useful with Frostfall, and I do have Frostfall, but... Uh, Fingersmith, again... I don't really think he needs that all that much. Speechcraft, again, not really sure. Alchemy... I don't know, I mean, I'm not focusing on alchemy all that much. I've never really been much of a crafter in games. I've never focused on that all that much. And the Elder Scrolls games have just sort of trained me to not care about crafting all that much, even though in Skyrim, it's, it's quite a bit more useful than the previous games, but still, should I just keep, like, making him a friggin' master marksman? Because that's his main thing. Oh, I didn't even look at light weaponry. How stupid am I? You know what? I think I remember thinking, you know, when I was uh, playing this earlier, before the big break, that I really should get more sword perks, because... You know, when I'm up close, I do realize I do quite a bit less damage, so I probably should put a sword perk in something. I could get Marksman 3 of 5, I could get Dual Flurry, nope, uh, I'm not gonna go down that path. I could get Bladesman, attacks with all types of swords and tantos have a 10% chance of doing 150% critical damage, which is awesome. Critical Charge, can do a one-handed power attack while sprinting, it does double damage, interesting. Guard Breaker, well on ar nope, not, okay, that's the unarmed tree, not going down there. Um, you could also get Blood Price, which I think, War Axes, and the other thing is Mauls, um, Mauls, Maces, and Clubs, so, okay, so, he's basically going to be going down this middle path here, because it's actually, you know, the sword path. Um, so should I get Armsman 3 of 5, or Bladesman? More damage overall is probably a bit better of an idea right now than critical damage, because 
I've noticed that I'm not doing all that well with swords compared to bows right now, because I've just been putting many, many, many more perks in bows, but I end up having to go close range quite a lot, so I think arms in 3 of 5 is a good idea right now. I apologize for that taking so friggin' long. So, we've leveled up, and you know what? I'm going to stop recording right now, check and make sure my recording is good, and start rendering some episodes and stuff, and I shall be right back and continue with Jakar's epic adventures here in Skyrim. So I shall see you all later, and ta-ta!